This is the corkscrew vine, or snail vine. Its Latin name is Vigna caracalla. Big flowers on a, a large pendulous head. And you can see here how they start off small and then they open up to this size. Has a fragrance, needs a bit of protection in the winter. I take it in and put it in my greenhouse. Absolutely top plant. I've always liked vines. They are very quick at growing, which is ideal because it makes them a vine. If you can train them over a low fence, something about four or five feet high, then this will place the flowers at easy reach to see and observe. They do have a slight fragrance. I find it very fleeting, but some people can pick up on it a lot more than I can. But this is where my story starts. I've had this plant for many years. I grew it from seed. And every year I dig it up. This plant is about five years old. And what I'm about to share with you now is what I've done for the previous four winters. And I'll make the point that you do not want, you do not need to have beauty in a plant that you're trying to overwinter. It would be quite easy to try and retain a lot of the growth above ground and train it into some sort of larger, beautiful specimen. But the goal is to keep that plant alive. And what I do here is cut off a huge quantity of uh, growth. Some of these branches are six and seven feet long. And the idea of tr trying to unwind those and save them and put them on a trellis and then put them in a greenhouse, it's just too much. So I encourage you to be quite ruthless, cut back a lot of the foliage, and if you can leave two feet on a number of stems and get out a, a lot of the roots, which is obviously very important. Now you'll see here with the, the spade, I'm pushing down, but I'm not rocking excessively backwards and forwards. If you do that, you crack the root ball. Right about here, you can see where I'm cutting through some roots with the, with the spade because the plant suddenly shudders. Once you've cut through roots, you can then give a little bit of leverage and try and pop that plant out. Every year is different. Sometimes it comes out with huge fibrous roots. Other years it comes out with a little bit less. This plant gets dug up before first frost, so I try and dig this up in early October. Uh, I might give it a bit of a prune first, uh, ahead of this pruning, but you do not, under any circumstances, want this to have any freezing. Now, unlike a dahlia that can take a couple of freezes, that will slow it down. This must not freeze. It, it will not survive. Now, we've got a good amount of fibrous root here, which is desirable, as you want this plant to go into its new pot and have a little bit of energy to root out and get itself established. Remember, you've cut off probably 80 or 90 percent of the foliage which was producing energy from sunlight, you've cut off a huge quantity of the roots and the plant has had a big shock. And as these plants get older, they're probably less tolerant of such radical disturbance. And this is where my story descends into sadness. This plant was put in my greenhouse, it was kept frost free. But I think that that temperature of uh, 40 to 42 on occasions may have been a little bit lower. And this plant died. It went to plant heaven, wherever that may be. I was very sad because I grew this from seed and it had been such a, a remarkable producer. So I'm on the hunt for a new one. I managed to find it. When you find it for sale, you jump, you get that plant, even if it's the middle of winter. I put it into a larger pot to get some nice new vigorous roots on it. And this year I'm going to plant it in a container. I'm not going to plant it in the ground. I might go back to that in future years, but this way, come fall when it's time to take this plant in, I'm not going to uh, subject the plant to that very vigorous and aggressive digging up, hard pruning, and then moving. I can just pick the plant up, pick the pot up, carry it into my greenhouse, and we're, we're good to go. This plant used to be called Vigna caracalla, now it's called Cochleosanthus caracalla. Snail vine, corkscrew vine, it's a great plant, go find it. Thank you for watching, tell your friends, tell your family, happy planting.